A trial has been set in the case involving Barbers Hill student Daryl George and his natural locks hairstyle. So he's been suspended since August because the district says the length of his hairstyle violates the dress code. His family, though, is fighting back, saying the school district is in direct violation of the Crown Act. The Crown Act prohibits schools and employees from discriminating against hair texture or protective hairstyles. Reporter Rochelle Turner was inside the courtroom. She spoke to Daryl and the author of the Crown Act. Rochelle, what did you learn today? Candace, Andy, we also spoke to Daryl's attorney, Allie Booker, who tried to get the judge to request a temporary restraining order. This would allow Daryl to go back to school until that trial next month. However, a judge did not grant that request today because he said that he felt like this case needed to be resolved quickly and he wanted to get it to a trial. Now, community activists called the superintendent racist and said that Daryl is being denied and education. It's just been stressful. It's just been uh, angering and frustrating because why? Like, why me out of everybody in that school? Why me? Why am I the only person getting picked on? Why am I the only person that's sitting in, the, in that same room every day, all day? Are there other students, black and white students, that you've seen with their hair out of the dress code policy? Yep. Plenty. And they're not in ISS? Not at all. Why do you think they're doing this to you? Why you? I don't know. That's my question. Instead of enjoying his junior year of high school, Daryl George has spent half of the school year suspended over his locks hairstyle. He keeps the hairstyle tied up like this, but the Barbers Hill Independent School District says the length of the locks violates the dress code. What is your response? I know your mom is very emotional, but what is your response to people who just say, just cut your hair, man. It's not worth it. They don't want to hear my response. What does your hair mean to you? I know you've been growing it for a long time, but what are, tell people what these locks mean to you it's me it's everything about me it's uh it's my confidence my my personality it's my uh my appearance is everything to me you know it's my uh is my connection to God to my people George's family has argued his punishment is discriminatory and violates the Crown Act which is intended to prohibit race-based hair discrimination state representative Retta Bowers authored the bill and drove from Dallas to show her support the Barbers Hill Independent School District is punishing Daryl George for one reason his choice to wear his hair in a protective style, which harms no one and causes no distraction in the classroom. Did you care you to make a comment? A, a spokesperson for the school was confronted by community activists who called the situation a fiasco. And I also reached out to the school district via email. I have not heard back as of news time. Coming up at 6 o'clock, you're going to hear from Daryl's mother. She shares an emotional statement about how the situation is affecting her and her family. Reporting live in Chambers County, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.